Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. It's another day. It's time to go thrifting. Uh, I got a couple of garage sales, actually one church sale and a yard sale. Uh, so we're going to hit those and we're going to hit two or three Goodwill, Salvation Army, you know the typical stuff. We're going to try to find some awesome stuff to sell on eBay and Amazon and make some money. Actually got a two Ikea bags of eBay stuff going out. It is dark in here. Oh my goodness. See if I can turn on a light on my phone. So uh, I got two. I don't think I've ever had two bags actually um, <laughs> go out for eBay. So usually I can fit everything in one Ikea bag since I don't focus on eBay as much. And mostly Amazon, I usually don't get more than an Ikea bag a night. So uh, this is like 20, 21 orders. So I woke up actually earlier than I usually do. Um, I usually wake up at 6.30, set the alarm for 6 this morning so I could uh, get all this boxed up and shipped out since I have one day shipping on. Got to make sure I do that. Let's get out there and see if I can find any more things to list on eBay and sell online. I don't think I ever showed this, this uh, backsplash I did. This is all Lowe's clearance right here, these stick-on tiles. I got these for like 10, 15 cents or something like that. Uh, ended up doing the whole kitchen. Um, went on pretty well. My house is really old and crooked. So um, there are some gaps, which I filled in with some spackling. I actually got to wipe that off and make it look a bit nicer. But over here, you know, the same thing, basically. Just um, looks nice. And all this, all these tile, I mean, it was like less than $5 to do this. So I'm always happy <laughs> outsourcing to make money. And I find stuff that I can, um, you know, put in the... I'm seeing that an orb go by. I'm looking in the... The screen here somebody was talking about an orb of light in one of my videos saying my house was haunted I just seen one go by twice so apparently um, maybe this this house is haunted but anyway I love finding stuff that I can use to uh, get my house in better shape because I am looking to sell I'm hoping to find land and and build a house I want to pay for it all in cash get myself financially secure and most importantly have a nice big space to work out of because being cramped in this house is just is just irritating. Got to the first yard sale here, and I guess I was a little bit late, even though I was about five minutes early. Uh, they already had all their stuff out, and people were buying it. There's a guy loading a bunch of tools and a bunch of nice-looking Sony electronics receivers, speakers. I, I couldn't even tell what else. Um, just loading up a bunch of stuff he had bought. It looked like a big air compressor. So uh, I see this guy at sales pretty often, so he uh, beat me. <laughs> here and got some good stuff it looks like and uh, that was probably about all that was good here in terms of resale I guess there was there was one thing I picked up there the home medics uh, massager I kind of bought that for me even though there is some resale value in that uh, looking around and just trying to find um, something not really seeing a whole lot unfortunately and this is a pretty nice neighborhood so uh, they should have a lot better stuff, but I, 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 like I said, I think that guy got most of it. Uh, yeah, just looking around, not seeing much of anything. Kind of wanted that TV stand because I'm in need of one, but I didn't want to deal with hauling it. There's the massager. I decided to go over and pick it up. It was only two bucks. Make it to the church sale, heading into the basement. Now, I've been to this sale many times. They have it twice a year. And uh, it's usually not very good stuff, and most of it, I'm sure, is just recycled every year. Uh, so I don't have much expectations, but we're going to come anyway. We're going to check it out, and we're going to see if we can find anything. Uh, looking over here at the toys, um, not really seeing a whole lot. There's some Legos. There's the Duplo. Children's books, not too good. There was something over there, though, I ended up picking up. Maybe you spotted it. Maybe you didn't. Uh, I was back on that back shelf, but I come back later. After I'm done filming and look through stuff a bit more thoroughly before I leave, because trying to film and look at stuff, you tend to miss a lot of stuff. And I see that when I edit videos. And it's nothing more disappointing than editing a video and seeing something you missed. <laughs> it's very disappointing. Uh, there's a Grimace, I guess it is. Fisher Price tag on it. That's kind of weird. Don't think it had any value. I just threw it back. And it has a bunch of knickknacks and stuff like that. But I do see something on a clothing rack over there that caught my eye. So I make my way over there through all this terrible media that's probably been here at these cells for the last seven years. But uh, this USA Phase 2 jacket over here, um, I'm trying to see the tag better so I can look it up there. 
And I did look it up. Unfortunately, though, it was t they wanted $25 for it. It does sell for about $40, $50. Bucks. Uh, just not worth it at $25, obviously. The, probably the highest price thing at this church sale. All the other prices are very, very good and reasonable. So I'm not sure why they had that price. I think that was just a DVD player, a cheapo one. Um, a Linksys router in 600. I actually have about 20 of those sealed. Um, I bought at Home Depot. I'm having trouble moving them because I'm not selling them on Amazon because of IP problems. They don't move too well on eBay. Uh, seen these New Balance shoes and you know they were in pretty good condition. They were used. The thing is they didn't look too exciting. A New Balance to move has to be something special. Uh, at least pre-owned New Balance. Like these are really clean. Like maybe I should have just looked them up just in case. You know I think they were three to five dollars. I may have missed out on a little bit of money there but I don't think, if I did, I don't think it was too much. So I got out of the church sale, and I all I got was this, um, my, my little sister, um, what is it, my sister, or kid's sister, oh jeez. I got, found one of these in a pallet recently, and I actually um, just re-donated it because it was so dirty, uh, I didn't think it would sell too well, but this one was pretty clean. So I figured for a dollar, um, it looked like they were selling before for $35 around that. Um, I could be wrong. I didn't look it up. I had no service down in that church basement. Um, just, um, I think it's 35. Uh, I'll have to uh, double check, but, um, I picked it up. Why not? It's only a dollar. How many people thoroughly go through these kitchenware bins at Goodwill looking for silver or anything of value? Um, I, I always see people digging through them. I guess I don't have the patience. Uh, it's kind of like ties. There's definitely money in ties, but I hate going through ties. I really do. Uh, it's just always so many. It's hard to you know flip them over, look at the label. There's always it's always just a hassle. And that's one of those things that look like a hat. I'll save that for somebody else. Steak knife set there. That Regent and Shefford, I think it was. I actually looked that up. Had a little bit of value. I could have made like five bucks, but. I just didn't want to mess with it. Those filters weren't any good either, unfortunately, so I had to leave those as well. Fresh out of a Goodwill, and I picked up a, um, a Pendleton flannel. Uh, haven't found any Pendleton in a while. Not that I really look, you know, I just kind of going through the clothing. And these things are easy to pick out in the racks. I seen it, you know, oh, that looks wool. So I looked at it, sure enough, it was a Pendleton. Sometimes they're wool rich. But Pendleton uh, flannels like this, the vintage ones, they do pretty well. Uh, I don't know if the price went down. I haven't really looked one up in probably six months, I don't think. So uh, before, this was probably $35 plus shipping, maybe. Uh, could be a bit more now. Could be a bit less. I don't know. I just wasn't going to leave it there. I looked all over this thing and make sure there's no holes because these things are, can get holes very easily. And it seems like every time I buy it or buy a Pendleton, I don't. I miss a hole and I looked this over over very well they still sell with holes sometimes too um, but I picked it up looks good picked up these ultra shoes uh, I sold a pair of these recently pretty good profits I think uh, I can't remember exactly the details they're a little dirty around the white here uh, but that'll wipe off pretty well. I think these will probably sell for about forty. To, actually, the exact pair of these, but the size was nine, sold for about forty. Oh no, it's forty-five free shipping. So I'll probably price these about forty, forty-five dollars uh, plus shipping, uh, just simply because they're size eleven and a half. So they're because that's a bit of a better size for uh, putting it on eBay. So, uh, I don't know. I'll make some money on them. Four ninety nine, pretty good price. They're in the women's shoe part, so <laughs> I don't know why they were there. Shoes have been all mixed up at that Goodwill for whatever reason. One of my recent favorite things at Goodwills and thrift stores is going through the toys. Because uh, I like digging through them. There's all kinds of little toy treasures that I've been learning about. And um, I'm excited to look for them and try to find them. Of course, I'm excited to look for the Jurassic World stuff, Jurassic Park stuff, because I've done very well with that. If you watch the videos, you know I found some great stuff within the past year. And let me know if I if I see if you see anything that I missed. I got excited with that dinosaur, <laughs> went on in deep. It was no good. Uh, yeah, just looking around here for any board games that might be sealed or rare ones, uh, things I've sold before. 
A lot of reselling is repetition, finding the stuff you sold before. And it sticks out like a sore thumb once you learn about it, once you've sold it. It's easy to spot. There was something freakish there. <laughs> not a Furby. I'm not sure what it was. That was pretty cool. That's a, what is it, a pop figure. Um, I did look it up. It wasn't worth a whole lot. But what got my attention were these He-Man toys. Battle Cat here for 99 cents and a bag for $1.99. He-Man stuff. I'll happily grab that. Uh, there's definitely money involved in that. I just don't know how much. have to look them up. Picked up some stuff in Goodwill. I think it's some pretty okay stuff. Got these Z coils here. Um, these are pretty much new, I would say. Uh, they even got like the, uh, well, one of them had the paper still in the, the shoe. But you can see here that uh, the sole here, or the bottom here is coming off. But you can just put some shoe glue on that and it should be fine. So other than that, they're in great condition. I think I'll be able to sell these for about $75. The uh, more casual Oxford looking ones tend to do better. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty good pickup, I think. They're $4.99. Um, that's pretty surprising. A lot of times they price the coils at least $10, sometimes 20 or 30. Uh, then I picked up some He-Man figures. Got He-Man Battle Cat here for 99 cents. Now, this thing, I think it's only worth about $15 like this. Uh, but if you have the armor, it has like armor and like a saddle and stuff like that that went with it. If you have all of that and you have the He-Man figure that goes with it um, and all of his weapons and accessories, it's worth about $150 bucks like that. Um, so, <laughs> I picked it up. It was only $0.99, cents, but right next to it were these He-Man figures. $1.99 for the whole bag. You can't beat that. I don't know how well these or how rare some of these might be. A lot of them are just pretty common, but there can be some that could be worth in the $50 range. I'm not familiar enough with them. So I'll have to do some research on these. And I just mentioned in a video, I got the, the battle carrier, the like skull thing that you put all your figures in. Got that like last week thrifting. I mentioned that I picked up like a t tote full, probably about 50 or 60 He-Man figures. Even had a Krang figure from Ninja Turtles, which is worth like $75. I, I'm keeping that. It was, it's so cool. Anyway, I picked up those figures. I uh, paid about 99 cents a piece for them, but like, I can't remember if it had the armor and stuff. I'm going to have to pull that stuff out and list it because um, it's been sitting for two or three years now. It's just one of those things take a lot of time to research and deal with. Uh, but there is money in it, of course. That's why I bought it. But you know, I'm all, I'm backed up with eBay. I say it every video. But uh, I don't know how well these are gonna do. But um, for dollar ninety nine, they're definitely worth picking up. I am back home, everybody, and I got some. Well, I guess I already talked about this a little bit. But here it is. This massage chair. It's only two dollars. It's not a chair. It's just the the backing for a chair. But I got one of these at a yard sale for five dollars. I think earlier this spring. And it was amazing. Um, I have some back problems. And if I'm up doing something too long, my back just starts hurting. Um, when I use this, it actually does make a difference. Like my pain starts to go away. So I was pretty amazed. I loved it. But mine recently broke. So um, I don't know. Like the bar thing in here just snapped. And I opened it up and it was just it was gone so I threw it away actually just last week here's another one uh, actually a better model I think than the one I had and uh, you can sell these and make money one of these sold on eBay for $59.99 uh, free shipping so for two bucks you definitely can make money on some of this stuff I did not open it hopefully it's not ravaged or something um, if I open it it's like still new <laughs> uh, man maybe I'll sell it I don't know because that'd be some better profit um, I would imagine it would be at least 100 if you can get 60 for one pre-owned. But anyway, uh, we'll decide that later. Good pickup, at least for me. I got some rackets at a Goodwill. And uh, this is a CTS Thunderstick Oversize. $1.99. Great condition, except it does need some new grip. Uh, it's pretty common in these. I think it, yeah, it's 1988, I believe. Uh, this will, I'll, I'll list this for 30 bucks plus shipping should sell. Uh, some of these CTS Thunderstick stick oversize rackets, if they have, uh, I think it's a 90 or a 110. I've seen one with the 90, I think it sold for like $186. Um, this one, another one for at 110 sold for like 90. 
So unfortunately, there's no number <laughs> off of that. So it looks like I'm going to get, I've seen some priced at uh, $37 plus shipping. I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to try to just hold on to these. I'm, I got, I'm going to make some good profit if they sell. It's pricing it at $29.99 plus shipping. And I'm going to make good profit. And you see these two racquetball rackets. They were 99 cents a piece. They're the same model. So I just decided to uh, buy them both and do a lot of two. I think I'll lot the two up for $30 plus shipping as well. It's about $60 in sales with rackets uh, to finish off this morning. It's been a pretty good morning, I think. Um, I love just going out and running into good finds. But I want to thank you for coming along with me. It's been an enjoyable morning. But please hit that like button for me. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you ring that bell. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff happening on YouTube. Uh, they're not showing videos. So if you do want to see these videos and you ring that bell notification, you're more apt to see them. Uh, I, know I have some people just like they're not showing up in the feed. So I guess YouTube algorithm does that for whatever reason. Uh, it's just weird. But this has been Wick. Until next time.